From 2006 to 2017, a series of mega construction projects transformed the landscape of Western Australia. These projects were mostly focused on the northwest coast of WA in an area called the Pilbara. Nowhere on earth can you find what was likely over $200 billion of LNG and iron ore investment concentrated on such a small patch of coast and over such a short period of time, a boom we may never see again. The Pilbara is now a global powerhouse in the production of LNG and iron ore, with an installed capacity to generate over 46 million tons of LNG and over 800 million tons of iron ore. The economic impact this region has is world class. With that, let's jump into the old stalwart of the industry, Karatha Gas Plant, more commonly known as the Northwest Shelf. The Northwest Shelf was initially designed and built in the 1980s. It is owned by a consortium of just about every player in the business. However, it is operated by Woodside. When it was initially built in the middle to late 1980s, it was one of the largest projects in the world at the time. The plant commenced operations in 1989 with two trains delivering 2.5 million tons a year each. A third similar train at 2.5 million tons was added in 1992. A fourth train at 4.6 million tons was added in 2004, and then capacity was finally increased with a fifth train also at 4.6 million tons, commissioned in 2008. The full project is currently delivering 16.9 million tons of LNG a year. This makes it one of the largest standalone LNG projects in the world. However, along the Pilbara coast, this is just the beginning. Pluto, owned and operated by Woodside, was the next major LNG facility. Completed in 2012, Pluto delivers 4.9 million tons of LNG through a single train. The project was delivered predominantly by a joint venture between Foster Wheeler and Worley Parsons at a total cost of $15 billion. The onshore work was mostly prefabricated in Thailand using 264 modules. The largest module weighed roughly 2,000 tons. The project has two offshore platforms that extract gas from the Pluto and Xena gas fields. 180 kilometers of pipeline connect the platforms with the onshore processing facility. A second train is expected to begin construction soon as part of the larger Scarborough project, with Bechtel the delivery partner on the onshore facilities. Completed in 2016, Gorgon LNG is truly in a class of its own. At a cost of 54 billion US dollars, the facility is an order of magnitude larger than the largest Pilbara iron ore projects. The plant has a capacity of 15.6 million tons per year delivered through three trains. The project was delivered by a joint venture between KBR, JGC, Hatch, and Clough. The key metrics of this project are mind-blowing. 240,000 tons of onshore steel, 230,000 tons of offshore pipeline and structures, a 2.1 kilometer LNG jetty, and modules weighing up to 6,300 tons. Completed in October 2017, Wheatstone is the newest LNG facility in the Pilbara. Chevron are the owners of both Wheatstone and Gorgon. The Wheatstone project has a capacity of 8.9 million tons delivered through two trains. The final cost of the project was around $29 billion. The on-site plant was managed by Bechtel, while Technip was involved with the offshore platform. At 37,000 tons, the platform topsides were the largest float-over installation in Chevron's history. A 225-kilometer pipeline transports gas from the platform to the onshore facilities near Onslow. With that, our short tour ends. But the story of LNG in Australia is still even bigger. Inpex and Darwin, Prelude, and the Curtis Island facilities have made Australia the largest LNG exporter in the world. I really look forward to making a whole series of these, and have very much enjoyed making this too.